here we have 1979 model Lincoln Mark V. One may think it's a little bit unecological because of high fuel demand. But this is a very modern car. Today it can be used both by wood and peat based fuel. Engine is 400 cubic inches, creating about 180 horsepower. The secret of this car is the trailer, which converts wood based fuel into gaseous form. Before the car can be run on wood, the gasifier has to be heated. The preheating takes about 5 minutes, sometimes perhaps 10 minutes. Let's see how this gasifier works. When the gasifier will be ignited, first we have to open the air valve to the igniter and open the chimney. After this, it's possible to heat the gas fire up. First, we pump some turpentine. And then we blow a little bit to put fire inside. A small puff should reveal that there is fire in. Now there is fire in the gasifier and some smoke escapes from the ship. You see that the gas is combustible. We can put a fire here in the lamp and when the gas becomes combustible then it will catch fire and we see that the gasifier is ready for drying. Sometimes this preheating may be a little bit teasers, but um, indeed it doesn't take so very long time. Very soon the gas will burn and then we just fill the gas piping with gas and after that the car is ready for drive. Meanwhile we can make some minor service operations. During drive, some condensates gather in the condensate vessel and we have to empty them before drive. It's possible to let the condensate out and this condensate it comes from gas cooling state. It's relatively clean. Okay, now the gas already starts to burn. it starts to catch some fire. gas flame is always very bluish and there is very little light because it's already evening the flame is visible but in bright daytime the flame is not visible. Now we can close the air to the ignition. Soon we can close the chimney too. We can open the main gas valve. And we can also open the plug here so that the 
so I let some gas out. When I squeeze this valve, a little bit more pressure. It's let here into the gas filter and the gas cooler, and this blows here a little bit gas out. Wood gas contains quite a bit of carbon monoxide. It is toxic, but uh, outside in the air, it's not any problem. You are not going to breathe it with such amounts that it will cause you any harm. We can make a small test even here to see that uh, there is uh, no longer air in the filter and the gas which comes here is combusted. Here it burns with pretty blue flame and we can see that both the filter and the gas cooler are filled with proper gas. The main gas valve to the car I already opened and now we have almost everything ready for drive. I closed the chimney. I switched off the blower. There is gas. The whole system filled with it. And I can go and drive. Goodbye.